So, um, so Leon and Krauser uh, met in uh, Resident Evil 4, and it was clear that they had a, a background in history, but um, that history wasn't really gone into in any sort of great detail in RE4. So the Dark Side Chronicles is actually um, showing how they came together in the first time. And this mission is uh, the first time the two characters have worked together. So Leon has come to South America to um, uh, investigate a drug dealer who has a mysterious connection to the Umbrella Organization. And on the way in South America, he meets up with Krauser. And the two of them have been sent um, to, uh, to go investigate uh, this drug dealer named Javier and to go through the town and see what's happening. And of course, because it's a Resident Evil game, bad things are happening left and right, and zombies want to eat your face. So, lot, been a lot of changes to uh, the overall gameplay from uh, Umbrella Chronicles to Dark Side Chronicles. You can see we fully integrated Havoc physics into the game, which uh, allows us to create a much more dynamic, destructible environment. So you can see we can shoot boxes, we can shoot fruit, um, you can shoot signs down, and uh, all this is important because you'll be shooting these things and um, finding little bonus things. So there we found a little bit of herb. So we've got sort of two levels of attack. You've got your point and shoot, um, where you use the uh, B button as a trigger on the Wii remote. And then you've got the A button, which swipes with your knife. That's good when the um, zombies get up close and personal and you need to push them back a little bit. One of the changes, one of the really good changes we made to the game um, is that we've eliminated the need to use the nunchuck. In Umbrella Chronicles, you use the nunchuck for a lot of different things, for reloading, changing weapons, uh, even looking around a little bit. We've completely streamlined the game, put the focus back on the action and the shooting. And so now you're just using the Wii Remote, you're pointing it just like you'd use a light gun in an arcade.